What's up guys? So um today I've I'm going to be showing you all the projects I've been doing so far. Specifically for my film which is going to be called Refraction and I haven't worked out a release date for that, I haven't started the whole filming process. But so far I've made this prop eyeball which I don't know, you tell me if it looks lifelike or not, but I've done it using this Polycraft latex rubber, 500 mils, and I only used, well actually I didn't even use that much, I used about that much, since, because I used that, the rest of that to make, I made a mould of my face, which it looks like, it looks like that. Which is quite cool, and I cut the nose and the eye holes out so you can wear it, wear it as a mask. So, this is what the eyeball looks like when I've done it with a proper camera, and it looks like that. So, you want to make sure this is if anybody's actually interested in how to make this. Um, just a quick note this is actually dissectable. It's because I've seen a lot of videos out there saying to make these, make this, you use, I don't know, you get a fake, you can, you can get like these eyes from eBay or something, these plastic ones that look really lifelike. I mean, I think that looks quite lifelike anyway from a distance, like that. Um, and But those are hard, so they can't be dissected because they're made of plastic. But this is made of rubber, and if you look, you can actually squidge it. So, um, yeah, because there's going to be a scene in my film where you dissect an eye, and I need an eye to dissect. So, yeah, the way I did this, I won't go into too much detail, but I got, you see, the slight orange tint there. I, I didn't paint it enough, but that was an old orange balloon that I had, and I slightly filled it up with water. Now, when you're going to dissect it, this is just going to be clear water, but actually, the stuff stuff inside your eyeball is called vitreous fluid and it's going to be it's it's like a greeny bluey color quite slightly yellowy blue, greeny bluey color um this is just going to be white it, it will just give the same effect hopefully i'm i'm only going to be able to have one take for this obviously because it was it's, i've only got one of them so what i did i filled up a water balloon or water, just a balloon slightly with water just so it gets the curved shape and then what I did, I tied a knot and it it tight and the balloon goes, like the knot comes around there and it ends about there. And then what I did, I've got my latex and I had tissues and I dipped the tissue, I just painted latex over the tissues and then made sort of a ring around the balloon and then just carried that down to the stalk where the balloon, the knot is went over that and then just the knot actually ends about there and I just carried it on and then that's basically it as so as far as it goes for that kind of stuff but for the painting well actually no the texturing you just put wrinkles in it by just making little um, strings of the latexy tissue paper and once you've got the strings of it you just stick it on there you just leave it to dry and then the painting is the most important step because it makes it look lifelike like it does see I haven't got proper lighting but that's what it looks like in proper lighting so um, to paint it what I did first I, I obviously left that orange before doing everything anything else I painted the whole stalk and everything all the like fleshy parts black and then what I did I got some of some paint called Blood Red and I kind of slightly dry brush that over the higher areas of the eyeball like so and then what I did I got some orange a yellow and I put it in a bit in the red and I put that on the very highest the very most high areas which are there along there around here and then after yeah and all around the flat areas here um that gives it it's kind of um just been ripped out eyeball kind of look um and then what i did i did a wash of just normal black over the whole thing 
to give it the shadows, like you see, especially around the rim here. Yeah, right there. And then wash all the way along up here. So, that's basically what I did. And I think it came out pretty quite happy with that. Now, if you want me an actual step-by-step -step of how I did this... Um, oh, wait, I've just forgot. You have to paint... After you've done that, you paint this white, but remember to go right into the edges around there. And then I painted just a blue ring around there, one colour. And then I did, I got a light, a really thin, tiny brush, and I made a lighter blue, and just did tiny little lines going inwards. And then I got a black brush, and I did carefully draw a circle there. And then that's about it. Just one last tip. To make it look really gooey like that, obviously this isn't going to be gooey, it's just, this is dry. Um, to make it look gooey, one really good trick I found is to get, you know you can just get those squirty um, bottle kind of things that you usually use for, I don't know, I think it's some kind of squirting bottle that you use. I think it's clean tables, that kind of stuff. Fill that with water and spray it over the eyeball. It will make everything look as if it's like really juicy and wet, which is what I did before I took this photo, and it looks really shiny compared to all well, that does. That looks quite shiny now, actually. That's a really nice angle, but yeah, that that's basically the end of it. If you want to know how, if you want to see a tutorial of me actually making the eyeball, I'll make another one just as a backup. If you want to see a tutorial of me doing that, post a comment. Ask me to. And yeah, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more awesome content as we go through the making of Refraction. So yeah, bye.